No. And it's like, especially like Icy's against specifically Sheik and Pikachu on FD, not a super hard character. You're holding down, you're chain grabbing, you're holding, you're hitting up on the C stick at some point. Yeah, and I mean, speaking of chain grabbing, we have one started here. Now I hear from Ganon mains okay. that this is not the worst high tier matchup for Ganon. Absolutely In fact, not. they kind of like it. I remember when Nun used to counterpick when wobbling was a thing and he would counterpick uh, Icy's with Ganon. Yeah, there might be other reasons outside of him just thinking that it would work for that as well, but yes. yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, like, that was a thing. I've seen I've seen a Falcon or two go Ganon in this matchup. Mm -hmm. Ganon's got big, dumb arms. Uh, Icy's are really small. I, I mean... It's more like, it's kind of like when you punch them and they're shielding, you can't get grabbed. Because yes. you're just so strong. Yeah, exactly. Um... And speaking of which, we're seeing, oh. Yeah, and I mean, all the damage on, except for that down smash on Prometheus so far is basically grab damage. Yeah. There's like not been any straight hits even. Also, like right there, you see like, you know, I think like Ices are a very polarizing character where it's like, if you do things that are good against them, you will be good against them. And if you can't, you won't. And I feel like Ganon is actually like very capable of splitting them up just by being able yeah. to hit them both with the same hitbox and have them fly in the air. Yeah. I mean, uh, honestly, even shielding, because the like forward air is so powerful that when Nana's light shielding and Popo is hard shielding, like they go different distances. Yeah. It, that's a considerable amount. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even if like you somehow manage to have separate percents on them, like a uh, move with high knockback, forward air, yeah. back air, these moves are going to like drastically change. Yeah, Ganon's back air, uh, nothing to shake a stick out in this matchup. But honestly, forward tilt has its place in neutral as well. Forward tilt is like, the frame data, not great. But like, when you hit it, it is like a strong, like it is a solid move, unlike most forward tilts. Yeah. It's one of those things where, uh, it's just because of the way Ganon's toolkit work, it sort of like ties all of his other moves together. Right? Yeah. And he is punching him. <laughs> uh, and you see Nana just not being able to grab the ledge. Uh, wow. I will call it as I see it. His limbs are much bigger than the hammers, and he's having much more success hitting the small ice climbing children uh, with those big limbs. It's true. It's... Look, they, and, that works. Uh, and, and this, okay, so folks, this is the thing. If you were more familiar with Falcon, and you're like, yeah. oh, that move sucks, it also sucks with Ganon, but it sucks less because you can't shield grab it, especially with Ice. With Ice's in particular, yeah. That's a thing in the Falcon matchup, too. Like, um, Oh, can they not grab? I guess they wouldn't be able to, right? Because they fly back too far? Diff difficult. There's like. The ICs always have counterplay because the, it's there's two of them there's factors. Two of them, so you yeah. can like have Nana slide forward, light shield, and then they hit True. her, not you. Yeah, there's all kinds of little weird things. You can always crouch, crouch cancel or whatever, right? Yep. But um, yeah, I mean it's super good versus ICs, and um, I mean I shouldn't say super good. It's abusable. Yes. Versus ICs. It's it's not something you're gonna do every time, but it's something that you can pull out like we saw Prometheus do and have it be like successful. And for you know just for a second, the ICs is like, what the heck is happening? And yeah. then that's. As soon as that moment ends, you probably should stop. But yes. And like having that restraint is something like if you're a Ganon player, I feel like you're actually good at having that kind of restraint of like, all right, this is a cheese thing. I got to put that away now. Time to go back to my neutral. I'm going to full hop stomp. I'm going to forward air. I'm going to back air. I'm going to uh, frame the match for a moment. Yes. Uh, this match, I mean, if you're looking at it from like an overall melee point of view, uh, Zayn was the best player of last year. Yes. Uh, ranked in the. Uh, uh, like, like full the, world the rankings. rankings. Yeah, yeah, full world rankings. Uh, playing a character that he's not that familiar with, right? Yes. So the question is, will he be able to um, learn Prometheus's style, come up with solutions quick enough in order to turn this um, set around? And that's what we're watching. Yeah, 100%. And it's it's definitely a thing of like, Zane, insofar as he has these ICs, it's not like, like Zion, where like, Zion's ICs are like a character of love. This is like a very precise surgical tool designed to get rid of two specific a, people in the world. It's a killing machine. Yeah, and, and those people are Jmook and Axe, who play Pikachu and Sheik. And this is a Ganon. This is just a Ganondorf, yeah. right? Ooh, nice tip and spike, yeah. An amazing tip and spike. And like, Zane, far better player than Prometheus. Not really an arguable statement, but it's a question of character unfamiliarity, matchup unfamiliarity, and like how can you use your understanding of the game to overcome that right now? I'm gonna tell you, I gotta tell you, uh, there's Ooh. there's this thing in like, I mean chess is the example I think of. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> there's like the certain skill level you hit 
where people will call you like logical or sensible yeah, or yeah, solid. Yeah. Prometheus is above that. Oh, for this is sure. more than a competent player. Uh, uh, like, has already guessed like Zane's movement inward, which is something that if you're not thinking, you're not doing. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's a it's a full fledged, fully grown uh, Ganondorf. No, and like Prometheus, not a person to sleep on. Got top eight at Bemi. Uh, is oh, yeah. power ranked in MDVA. Is one of our strongest players. Shows up to the cave and Baltimore like some Baltimore events, like, and is a super solid player. Uh, and Zane, notably, uh, Jorge's teammate. Yeah, won, Zane, Jorge's teammate, teammate. and he's done some other stuff elsewhere. Yeah. Not MDVA power ranked, notably, so that says a lot about Zane's skill. Yeah, uh, uh, and lives in MDVA too, right? Wow, that's, yeah. That's it's, tragic. It's a little embarrassing. So in MDVA, Prometheus, better player. I mean... And the set kind of is showing. I, we're in MDVA, Prometheus is a... He's making it happen. I will say, it's last stock. It's definitely pretty close, yeah. As much as, you know, jokes aside. Um, and it is a little less closer <laughs> now that Nana is dead. Yeah, that makes it tough. I mean, and actually drops the little bit of... Actually, Ganon chain grab for Ices is difficult at the really low percents, right? If I yeah. remember right. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I... Yeah, I don't know either of the chain grabs. They, yeah, Ganon can chain grab uh, Ices too, right? Gotta That's be. Pretty low percent. Gotta be. Yeah. I mean, well, when you and even without the chain grab, just gets one of his like insane, very strong moves. Yeah, follow ups. The, the ancient scribes used to say that Ganon only needs to hit you seven times to win. I don't know why they say that, but that's what I heard. That's a see. There's got to be something to that because the moment I heard that. I believed it. <laughs> right? <laughs> the it just... moment, that is like, it's because like sometimes people will be like, oh, three times. Obviously not. Seven. You kind of believe it. I believe seven. Yeah. Melee stats nerds out there. It, 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 who writes Monday Morning Marth? Is that Edwin Budding? Do a statistical <laughs> breakdown of Ganon, <laughs> how many times he hits you until you die. It, yeah. It, maybe it's seven. <laughs> I, I, I bet on seven. Oh. Oh, that was kind of cool. Nana vanished during the up special. I don't think I've ever seen that oh. interaction, so he's able to grab the yeah. Huh. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. I, don't, I didn't know what happened when a character disappeared mid-hug. Melee's so crazy. How, like, I've been playing for six years. I, you've been playing longer than that, uh, presumably. Almost Either, time, yeah. Yeah, like, how are there interactions we haven't seen yet? Yeah. You know what um, I just noticed? Um, we talked about Zane being the you know primary... Uh, story maker here yeah uh, dodged two side specials so far and was able to punish both of them um, is down in this you know particular game um, and needs to make a comeback but some promise being shown yeah. um, you know, in the strategic battle at the very least oh and the tipman spike and he gets it again and oh, power probably not even optimal probably should have just repeated tipman spikes but at this point Look. i don't think prometheus cares Looks pretty optimal to me. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> You're right. Who, you know, who am I to even say that? Vanished into the blast zone. And it's, oh, oh, oh. Ganon with the power. Oh, no. Good lord. Zane, I will say, got to be the worst possible pull from him in maybe the entire venue. You think so? Yeah, I'm trying to think of like that was a nice that was a nice decent glitch. He does though. have those. I saw yeah. it. He was like that's a specific thing that like he's copying from what he was doing with Sheik. If you watch like him play Leffen, he has these like very neat uh, desync setups. Yeah, tried to do the down throw re grab. Yeah, not working out. And you do need those big punishes at this point. I mean, Zane knows that you can't win just off of stray heads. Yeah. The, that style's not been working the whole time anyway. And I mean, that's the set. Wow. I mean... So Prometheus is Armada number, presumably just got much smaller. Listen, Armada numbers, ever <laughs> since yeah, like they, the first summer of quarantine... Yeah, things have changed. Do you, if The SEC should sue plus, Hungrybox. Plus, I don't know if that counts if you beat no, a I don't secondary. Think so. It doesn't count. I feel like beating a secondary should count, particularly because I beat Hungrybox's Fox and Ness once. There you go. And there it is. So there you go. But yeah, I, I would say, <laughs> here's my hot take. The SEC should pursue Hungrybox for artificially tanking the value of the Armada <laughs> number. That's, many investors lost good money on a strong Armada number, only for him to throw to Harry Pogger, <laughs> Beezim. Yeah. I, like, I don't like the smell That's of okay. it one bit.